And here we are, the Medeski Stadium. We have signed a professional contract with Reading FC. And look at this place, we've finally made it into the professional footballing life. We're here at the Medeski, looking around at all the awesome things, and maybe one day we can be up there on one of these banners. There's Mete, there's Puskas, there's Liam Moore, the captain, and this is great. We've got our academy graduate with us, and his name is Elise. Guys, if you don't know him from Reading, he is an academy graduate as well. And uh, there he is just standing out front. We're going to go have a chat with him and just talk about this preseason tour that we're about to embark on. And it looks like it's going to be a really good one. There's the team bus as well, guys. And uh, here we are with the chat. Hey, how's it going? It's pretty good. Yeah, I'm so excited for this preseason tour. Did they tell you yet? We're heading to Turkey. It's going to be an awesome time. Can't wait to get started. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. I'm actually just going to go down and talk to the captain, Liam, and uh, just get acquainted, and then I'll see you on the bus. Cool. See ya. All right, guys, and look at this. We are just going down to the team bus now. We're Liam Moore there in front as well. A couple of the other teammates gathering around. A couple of them already on the bus, and we're about to go have a quick chat with him and uh, just get ourselves ready for the preseason. Hey, how's it going, Mateo? Welcome to the team. My name's Liam, if you don't already know me. I'm the captain here at Reading FC, and we're really glad to have you on board as part of the academy setup. It's great to see you got your professional contract sorted, and now is your time to shine. So I'll be here for anything you need. Anything you want, just let me know. I'll come help you out. We're going to be doing some team bonding while we're over there in Turkey, and we're going to be hopping on the bus here soon, heading to the airport and getting ourselves into Turkey for our preseason. So don't worry. If you have any questions, just let me know, and I'll see you on the bus. Guys, look at this. It's so cool. All the teammates here gathering around. We've been told it's time to get on. So we're going to be heading over here now, just looking one time back at the stadium there in the Medeski where we'll be playing our home games this season. We've got our Reading tracksuit on and uh, we're going to be hopping onto the Reading FC bus now, which is what we're going to be using for our away games. And now while we're on the bus, we're going to get our phone out and have a look through some of the fixtures coming up here. We've got a games in Turkey. We've got the Champions Trophy preseason tournament, guys. We've got a game first up on the 5th of July against Gensalabro. We've got a game in the Champions Trophy for the second game, the 8th of July against Den Easley. And these are all interesting <laughs> Turkey teams and a few others as well. There's one more as well coming up, guys. But as you can see, we're just arriving here at the airport. But we're going to be hopping on the airplane on the little uh, Reading jet and flying off to Turkey, guys. And as you can see, here's the final game in the Champions Trophy. We've got these three group games. This one's against Sporting, one of the Spanish teams. So that'll probably be one of the harder ones. And then as you can see, the first game coming up in the EFL Championship this season is on the 31st of July against Luton Town, who were newly promoted, I believe. And that game is away from home. But here we are now hopping on the plane, guys. We're on the jet. This is so surreal. We're at the airport in Reading, and we're about to fly out to Turkey, guys. As you can see from the standings, there's the team sporting and the other two at the bottom there. Guys, it's going to be an interesting preseason to see how we do against these teams. We've got two of them coming up in this episode and one coming up in the next one. And if we can make it through to the semi-finals, we'll be playing that as well before we head back to England for the start of the season. But here we are leaving England now. We're leaving Reading, where we've grown up as part of the academy setup. And here we are now arriving in Anakata in Turkey, which is where the matches will be held. And here is the starting lineup for today's game, guys. Reading default Mete up front. We've got Place in the center attacking the field position, which is interesting. And Algeria there on the left instead. As for the rest of the team, they're looking pretty good. At least there as well on the right wing, the other academy graduate. He's going to be playing an important part in our Reading career as well. And as you can see, guys, getting into our first ever game for Reading. First ever FIFA 21 match, guys. This is going to be awesome here. It's away from home. It's away. It's for the preseason tour. And here we are about to get it under the There's Mete starting the line. Hopefully we can get some assists for him. Not starting at left mid, but we're starting at center attacking mid, which is going to be interesting. So hopefully we can do well in this position. And here we are getting underway with the kickoff and the first highlight of the game. Headed down here to Bright. He's on the ball here, just trying to figure out the center attacking position at the moment. We've got Mete up top to support. And uh, here we are with a nice ball through here with Bright taking a shot there and it's just been deflected by the defender and kicked away and uh, there we are guys I think actually that was a hand ball in the box we have handballs turned on you've seen the new Premier League rule as well so I thought I'd turn it on and guys a handball in the box there from the opposition defender sees a penalty for Reading here in the 12th minute of the game can Mete go and open the scoring here with the first goal of the game from the penalty spot he's stepping up for it now takes a shot on his left foot and it's in the back of the net on the right hand side guys it's 1-0 here to Reading 
And 12 minutes plays, Mete going and scoring the first goal of this pre-season tour here in Turkey. Guys, that might just net us three points on the table, which would be really good as well. As you can see, scoring the penalty there and uh, really helping the team start off well, positively as well. And here he is with the replay of the penalty. Guys, just steps up nice and calmly, left foot into the side of the net. And it is 1-0 here to Reading. Very nice goal from Mete. Good start to the season for the striker. And uh, I'm still surprised we're playing center attack in midfield, guys. It's interesting to see we didn't get put in left mid, even though Antiaria, who is playing at left mid, is actually a center attacking mid. So it's interesting to see the manager's choices here. Maybe he has a reason for putting me as a 16-year-old here in the center attack in mid. Maybe he wants to see me have more opportunities. But here we are with a throw in there from Aldis on the uh, right wing here. Coming in now to Bright. Bright passes off to Mete. Back to Bright again. We've got a really good chance here taking the shot. But fluffed it and gave it straight back to the goalkeeper, unfortunately. 27 minutes in. Still 1-0 here on the scoreline. Bright now on the ball. Lays it left here to Algeria. Can we get this one forward now? We've put it forward into Mete. We're working it around the box on the left side now. Richards on the ball from left back. And we're coming forward now. It's Bright on the ball. He cuts inside. Can he get a shot away here? He's going to take a shot across goal. It just goes over the top left-hand side. And it's gone out of play for a goal kick, guys. 41 minutes in just before half time. Now we're reaching our way through. Still 1-0 up, but a foul has been given away here. I think Liam more the center back there tackling him and it's going to be a free kick here to the opposition team the referee gets it ready and he's taking a couple of steps to make sure that the free kick wall is the right distance away and they're going to have a chance here to get it level here can they make it 1-1 with this free kick he's going to run up he's going to take the shot and it's just gone over the bar luckily for reading it didn't quite hit the target and guys, here we are, 48 minutes in. Just started the second half now, bright on the ball. Remember, number seven at the moment. Let me know your thoughts on the number choice and the, the interesting position the manager has put us in. But a great through ball here coming for Bright. Can he make it 2-0? Yes, he can. He scored on his debut here, guys. 50 minutes played. Matteo Bright going and scoring the second goal of this game. Look at that celebration. Kissing the wristband from his father. The one he wears to every single game, guys. That's his signature celebration kissing the wristband his source of inspiration and he goes and gets himself a fantastic goal here look at that three ball from the midfielder there one tap shot from Brighton it goes in at the back of the net to make it 2-0 in this game first goal in the champions trophy for Matteo Bright first professional goal can we continue this on in the championship season where it really matters here in the friendly it's not too important but getting the goals is good for confidence and good for the form of the team guys so here we are continuing on this game now 64 minutes played rating two opposition at nil and here we are with a chance of bright on the ball he lays it through there we've got a good chance of loose is underlapping we've got a good chance to come through here can we get it from elise yes we can we've got a good chance to take the shot try to chip it and we just got tripped up by the goalkeeper and the ball has gone out of play there for a corner kick and uh, i think the tail is actually taking the right side corner kicks at the moment which is pretty cool but the chance coming here for the opposition 75 minutes played it's gone wide of the goal doesn't trouble the goalkeeper and it's gone out of play. Here we are now with Tino Watson on the right back position. Throws into Swift. Swift now to Bright. Bright on the ball. Lays it forward in the middle to Baldock, who's just come on. Baldock lays it back here to Bright. Bright on the ball to take a left foot shot. No, he passes it to Algeria. He takes the shot, but doesn't quite get it past the goalkeeper, guys. 86 minutes in. Four minutes left to play of our first ever professional game. Lays it through there to Baldock, who was actually onside. And he just missed, unfortunately, denying the assist for Bright there. But, guys, there goes the final whistle. This game is over. We have won 2 0. One goal from Mete from the penalty spot and one goal from Bright. What a fantastic open game that was, guys, here in Turkey. And we've gone and grabbed ourselves a very important victory, a very important goal to prove to the manager why we need to be in the starting lineup for the start of the season. We're currently a rotation player. Look at that. Six shots from Mateo, one goal. The ratio is not too great, but the fact that we scored a goal and got our team a 2-0 victory is absolutely fantastic. And guys, here we are heading back to the hotel room in Turkey now. Guys, as you can see, we're just going to relax here. we got our hotel mate who uh, we are kind of staying in with the same place is um, Elise as well. So they chose us to be in the same hotel rooms, which is pretty cool. So we're going to be hanging out with him quite a lot. And guys, just looking around this place, it's so fancy. It's so awesome here. And uh, we're just going to go take a seat on the couch soon. We're checking our bank balance. And in the first episode, we actually saw the wage was £1,200. That was actually £1,200 a fortnight. They didn't, I didn't really look into that, but it was actually a fortnight, not weekly. So our weekly wage is actually £600, which is more realistic, guys. And you'll be able to see from the FIFA stat as to why I changed it down. Uh, so the £600 a week is what we're going to be on for the season. As you can see, with me and Alusa just looking at the moves on the TV. And uh, Bright gets started at Reading, guys. That's me we're arriving at Reading. We've got our league objectives from the manager. He wants to create over 48 scoring chances, give an average league match rating of 6.4, and create 15 goals, whether I'm setting them up or popping them in myself, and complete a pass completion rate of 77%. As you can see there, like 
I just said, current wage is 600 pounds. Current value is 3.7 million, which is great. 16 year old, 67 overall, left mid player for Reading, guys. And uh, unfortunately for Elise, he has been benched for this next game. As you can see from the lineup that's about to come up now, we've got our laptop out again while we're here in the hotel room. And uh, Aluko has replaced him on there, but I'm still sitting in central attacking mid position, same as everyone else I think is about the same. So Elise is probably the only one that's actually got replaced, unfortunately for him. But he's okay with that because it is just pre-season. And uh, we're just going to go with what the manager chooses for the first few games. Because as you can see, we're coming up here with our game against Denizel. And uh, <clears throat> we're going to be playing these guys for the second game in this episode in the second game in our pre-season tour. Here we are getting the game kicked off and underway now. Can we get another win here, guys? Can we come away with another three points? Maybe some more goals right here on the ball. Laying it to Mete. Laying it, laid, uh, laying it wide there. Aluko. Ball headed in. Oh, lucky there from Mateo. Almost getting a goal with a header then. Unlucky not to take that chance. Should have aimed it into one of the corners with a header. Haven't really been practicing headers on the match. And Aljaria here to Bright. Bright lays it off there to Mete. Mete goes and scores, guys. It's another goal for Mete. Two and two for him. And an assist. A first professional assist for Mateo Bright here, guys. What a fantastic start to this season, guys. Remember, we're playing on ultimate difficulty. So it is as hard as it can be, which is even more satisfying. As you can see, Mateo Bright there getting a lovely a little assist for Yakon Mete and then the ball comes into the edge of the box here nice little turn and through ball opens up the space perfectly for Mete just to take that shot and it's in the back of the net to make it 1-0 in this game guys can we add more to this can we get this big three points on the table it'd be really good if we can just keep adding goals to this and get our confidence really really high here we go with them back to the kickoff now and the opposition team are getting things back underway and here we are 30 minutes into this game now Luca won the ball he's replaced at least there's a really good throw ball here to Mateo Mateo's pushing through here can he get a chance here on the ball bright to take the shot there it is in the back of the net two and two for him two and two for Mete and guys it's another goal on the score sheet for bright kissing that wristband and getting a very good celebration. And a very happy 16-year-old here playing for Reading, impressing the manager and impressing his team as well. Look at this through ball from Aluko. Runs onto it, outpaces the defense, smashes it into the left side of the net, and it goes in the back to make it 2-0 in this game. A goal for Mateo Bright makes it his second in the Champions Trophy. Same as Mete, guys. And here we are about to get this one underway. 2-0 up, as easy as that. Can we carry this on? Can we carry this form on, guys? This is absolutely fantastic in the start at the moment. And here we come now down the right wing. Can we get across into the box? Are we going to cut inside? He's pushing up to the goal here. He's laid it short to Mete out of nowhere. And it's in the back of the net to make it 3-0 in this game. Just after halftime, 48 minutes play. Mete going and scoring the third goal of this game. His third goal in two games in this preseason tour. And he is on just as good form as Bright. And another assist for Bright, guys. That's two assists and a goal for Mateo in this game. And, uh, and another goal for Mateo in the last game. This preseason has already got off to a very good start. Yakon Mete there scoring in the 49th minute. His third goal in the Champions Trophy. Can he get a hat-trick in this game? Guys, we're already 3-0 up. We could easily make this four if we just keep pushing. It's only just been half time. And now here we are in the 52nd minute and another chance coming here. Luko on the ball at the moment. Lays it through to Bright. Bright on the ball. He chips it over there. Is this going to be a chance? Is it Mete? It is. It's Mete with the goal. It is 4-0 in this game. 53 minutes played, guys. Mete goes and scores himself a hat-trick. And believe it or not, Mateo has gone and got himself a hat-trick of assists all for Mete. He's got a hat-trick of goals. We've got a hat-trick of assists as well as a goal ourselves and this is turning out to be an absolutely crazy game look at that through ball over the top there and the manager is is so happy with the performance the assists picking out the passes and the goals from Mete as well it's been fantastic from both these two players maybe this is a great partnership that's going to be forming soon guys let me know what you think about that Mateo uh, Bright and Yakal Mete up front together in central attacking mid and striking position 66 minutes in there Mateo tries a shot there the goalkeeper pushes it over the bar and currently sitting on a 10 rating at the moment it's crazy but now we're into the 85th minute and the final five minutes of this game guys can we finish this game off in style or are we going to sit on the 4-0 I think 4-0 is a pretty good score and here comes the opposition with a chance now they're going to take a shot there the goalkeeper makes a good save Raphael getting a finger on that and the second shot comes in from Sacco and it has gone out to the side netting and out of play guys but here we are in the 90th minute this game is about to end any second now they're headed down there and this game is finished here at 4-0 in this preseason game we won the first one 2-0 now we've won this one 4-0 guys what a 
fantastic start to the preseason tour here in Turkey and where we're going to be ending this episode soon. But guys, Yakometi they're going on scoring three goals with three attempts and I've got three assists for Wright as well as a lovely goal as well. So that's two goals in the preseason tour for him. But now guys, here we are at the training camp training ground where we're going to be just getting underway with a couple of drills to finish this episode off as well as a little cutscene. And as you can see, guys, we're just working on making our way to goal and finishing as well so Mateo's just doing some training here some casual light training while we're out on tour at the moment and then we're going to be heading back to England for the start of the championship season soon as soon as this preseason tour is done oh, it's really good just to find our feet in this preseason tour get used to playing with the first team in the preseason games and uh, kind of gelling with the side and how they play we've got really good at assisting Mete already as you can see and uh, these little drills here just helping us out helping us get to know the players even more and uh, bond with the team which is really cool as you can see guys just running down the wings here getting the balls crossed in running into the box and getting tackled there is our last chance here for this one and we're going to see if we can get a couple more chances guys it's been a really fantastic preseason so far we've got one game coming up to finish off the group games in the next episode and then if we make the group uh the knockouts we're going to be into the semi-finals in which we'll be playing another game and if we make the finals, there'll be one more after that. We'll have to see how that goes in the coming episodes. But guys, as you can see here, we're just working on the second drill now. And it is shooting. Guys, we've got uh, just a couple of balls all lined up. And we get the chance to shoot at the goalkeeper just to test him out and test our shooting ability. And so currently playing at center attack and mid, which is pretty interesting. I wasn't, I wasn't under the impression that we were going to be put there. But it's interesting because the manager did say in the first episode he will do our best to cater for the positioning but at the moment he'll have to go with what he's got he's put me in center attack in mid and it's paid off so maybe he knows what he's talking about so at the moment we're playing center attack in mid we'll try and get our left mid left wing position but at the moment it is working out really well there and guys here you can see we've just finished our training for the day we're going to be heading back to the hotel now where we're going to be getting underway uh getting back to the hotel room for the night and before we get underway with the next preseason game tomorrow in the next episode but as you can see guys just as we walk up to the hotel Liam Moore the captain is at the front door and he's just asked if we could have a quick chat with him so I'm going to wander over and see what he has to say and uh it's, it's pretty late here in the day as well and we've just finished training we just had a big day as well and we'll just go up and see what he has to say right now hey Mateo great stuff out there today it was really great to see you playing uh me and some of the lads were just wondering if you wanted to come up to the hotel room for a party we've got some drinks we've got some some drugs we've got some really cool things if you want to come let us know we'll be up in our hotel room see you later guys this is a really big decision do we want to do this let me know in the comments down below i'll see you in the next episode peace